So having a fast editing workflow is an extremely important part of filmmaking. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, with filmmaking, time is money. It's just a matter of spending that time wisely. A really easy way in which you guys can speed up your editing workflow is by using shortcuts. So today I've compiled 10 of the most used shortcuts that I think are most useful to the editing process and I think you guys should adopt these because they're really going to help speed things up for you. Without further ado, I think we should get right into Final Cut Pro X and have a look through these 10 easy shortcuts which you guys can use. Let's get right into it. First one we're going to talk about is Command B. Let's do Command B real quick. So Command B and as you can see, it just pretty much split the clip exactly where that pointer is. The next shortcut we're talking about now is Shift Z. So Shift Z will pretty much just zoom to fit the timeline. So if you have lots of clips in your timeline, it's just going to pretty much make the zoom into the timeline so everything fits on that one page right there. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about now is trimming your clips. So you can do Option and then whatever this thing is called. It's the uh, it's the bracket thing. The, the, you know the the right angle bracket thing that thing that thing um so we're gonna pretty much press option or alt alt or whatever you have press press that key and press the uh, right angled uh, right angled bracket key I have no idea what it's called and uh, that's gonna pretty much trim the clip to the end of your pointer so right there so that's really really easy to trim clips we'll do that again so alt or option and then the right angled bracket like that you can also do this with the other bracket the opening bracket you can put that your pointer here and just going to trim the clip to the start of your pointer there. So that's pretty much trimming your clips. That's a nice shortcut to have just to speed things up on your trimming clips. The next shortcut we're going to talk about now is Control T. So Control T will pretty much place you a, uh, a basic title on top of your footage. This is easy. This is great if you're just adding maybe subtitles into your into your videos, or I don't know why you would have a basic title, but it's really handy to have a basic title, just a little uh, little shortcut that you can have, so you can maybe add some text or whatever into your videos with it and saving some time without having to go into the text panel up here. Okay, so the next shortcut I want to talk about now is pretty much duplicating a clip, and it's a really easy way to do it. So you're going to pretty much select the clip, hold your option key, and then just drag up. And that is just going to create a duplicate layer of that clip right there. It works for all types of things, it also works for titles, so we can do this, and then hold your option key or alt key, apparently like this and it's just going to pretty much duplicate that clip. Really super easy to do and it kind of saves you to having to go to copy and pasting it and then placing it above this clip. Alright, so I'm going to quickly just duplicate this clip real quick and this will let me show you guys the next uh, awesome shortcut. So the next shortcut is actually grouping clips or making a compound clip. So we're going to select both the clips and then press Option or Alt G. That's going to bring this menu up here, just press Enter and you've created a grouped clip or a compound clip. Really, really easy like that. Okay, now we're going to quickly talk about the event browser right here. There's some awesome shortcuts which you can use to speed things up here as well. So, say we want to bring in another clip from uh, our shoot over here. We're going to select the clip. Alright, there we go. So, whenever you're placing clips from your media browser to your timeline, it's awesome to use a range selector tool as that's going to speed things up, as then you don't have to trim it later in the, in the timeline. So, you would normally just do it by like uh, using this little tool here. But to speed things up, you can just press I on your keyboard like that. And that's going to be your start point, and then O for your out point. And that's just going to be already trimmed, and you can just drag it into your timeline like that. Super, super easy to do. Um, that's pretty much that. Okay, so the next thing now is actually just the Control Z key. So I don't even know how many times I use this this uh, this key, but if there's any shortcut that you're going to use the most, it's going to be Command Z, or and it's just like it's such a handy thing to have. You just press it, and it undoes your actions. It's really, really cool to do. So yeah, Command Z, definitely the most useful useful of any of these shortcuts right now, just because it's so versatile. Probably the shortcut that you're going to be using the most out of all of them. So as you can see on this clip, we've got a couple of attributes, and pretty much if we want to make attributes uniform over a couple of different clips, we can select a new clip by just getting one here, press I-O as we've learned just previously, drag that one in, and now what we can do is just press Command C, and now you can press Command Shift V. And that's going to bring up this menu here, and you can see it's going to press paste attributes. So you want to select all these things, and once you're ready to, to paste it, just press paste. And as you can see, it should now wait for it to load first. Wait, I'm using a slow computer. And as we can now see, it has pasted all those attributes on top of our clips. In the inspector panel, we can see it's all worked perfectly fine. Um, yeah, that's, that's just a really handy thing to have whenever you're... Um, just wanted to like make your stuff uniform over several different clips, just have the same effects and stuff on it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. 
uh, that's pretty much all the uh, the shortcuts that I have covered today. There's loads more that you can find it yourself. You can also make your own shortcuts by going here into Command and then going to Customize. And you can see every single shortcut there is in Final Cut. Absolutely crazy. You can make your own. It's really, really cool to have. But yeah, that's pretty much all the shortcuts that I think are most useful if you're making films and stuff. Okay, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll give you back to the other Lucas. Not me, the other one. And um, he'll do the awesome outro for you. So, see ya. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you didn't, remember to smash that like button and subscribe for weekly content. Um, I post videos about filmmaking and photography, so please subscribe because we need those subscribers. Maybe cut that out. <laughs> but if you have any other shortcuts that you found out that you're using all the time, let me know in the comments down below and other people will find value from that as well. Without further ado guys, I'll see you next week and have an awesome day. See ya.